All right, for the first example, the slope. This graph is opening up. It goes up 2 over 1 to get to the next point. My slope is a positive 2. My vertex is right here at 1, down, 2. Does anybody know where the x-intercepts are? There's one right here at 0, 0. And anybody know what that one would be? 2, 0. Good. When I build vertex form, I have all the data for vertex form. That means I can easily build x minus something squared for vertex forms. This one is going to go in with the x. This minus two is going to be at the end. And then I need to check that my slope is at the front. Vertex form is done. Factored form. For factored form, when I write it, I'm going to have x minus, x minus, and I place in a 0, oops, a 0, and a 2. You'll notice that the positive 2 becomes a minus 2. Switches, switches signs. Then at the front, I need the slope, and that one is factored. Any questions on those two? Those are the easy ones. The standard form is a little bit more difficult. There are two ways you can solve for standard. I'm going to show you both. And then you'll be able to pick. Vertex form can be simplified. This squared means, see, I always run out of room. Okay. This little power of two means that there are two of these parentheses. This two stays in the front. This minus 2 is hanging out at the back. It still hangs out here, still hangs out the front. When I distribute, I would get x times x is x squared. What's negative 1 plus negative 1? Happens when I add the numbers together. Negative 2x, and then I multiply them. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 1. So they add to the middle, multiply to the end. This 2 makes a 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 when I distribute it in. Right here, there's a minus 2 hanging out. 2 minus 2 makes a 0. This vertex form tends to be the longest one to get to standard. This is one option, using vertex form. What if I multiply these together instead? What if I build from factored? I would have a 2. I 
I would have x squared. What happens when I add 0 and a negative 2 together? What happens when I multiply them? What's 0 times 2? Then when I distribute, 2x squared minus 4x plus 0. You may pick either method to find standard. It does not matter which one, they both give you the exact same answer. So you're just distributing it. Try again. Chromebooks should be away. Phones should be away. What is the slope for this graph? Negative 2. Negative 2. Why is it negative 2 instead of a positive? Good. It's going down. Now I'm going to find the vertex which is at 4, negative 4. Does it have any x-intercepts? So when I build vertex form, I have all of the data. I'm going to build my vertex form x minus something squared. The vertex x goes here. The y for the vertex is at the end. And I put the slope on the front. Do I have enough data to factor it? No, so I am going to not do factor form. Right, skip. We don't have the data to do it, so I'm not going to write it. Which means when I try and find standard form, I have to build from here. This is going to be written, x minus 4 will be written two times. And then at the end, there's a minus 4 hanging out. I leave the 2 alone. I leave this alone. And now we're going to build. x and x make the x squared. What's negative 4 plus another negative 4? Negative 8. What's negative 4 multiplied by negative 4? Positive positive 16. Why positive? Negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 4 is 16. This 2 is going to multiply in, so it'll be negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 8 is a plus. 2 and 8 make 16. Negative 2 and a positive make negative 32. And this minus 4 is chilling at the end. It does not get to be multiplied. It's just outside the parentheses. What will it become when we put them together? Negative 32 minus 4 makes negative 36, 4, 5, 6, negative 
Next question, my graph is going down by one. My vertex is at negative four up three. What do you notice about the x-intercepts? Are they whole numbers? I'm going to build vertex form. When I drop this negative 4x into the parentheses with the other x, it'll switch this minus to a plus, and this positive 3 is outside. Then I tell it that the graph opens down. With factored form, do I have enough data to factor? I'm going to skip it because they're decimals. So whenever there's no x-intercepts, don't build that form. Standard. x plus 4 will be written twice. And it has a plus 3 at the end. We'll try and fill in just this center piece by multiplying, adding for the center, and multiplying for the end. Just try and fill that in the best we can. Then we'll check it. should have x squared plus 4 and 4 make a positive 8. 4 times 4 makes a positive 16. Now I distribute this negative 1 in. When I multiply by 1, will it change my numbers? 1 won't change my numbers. What will the sign do? Switch. So negative, if you want a 1, you can put it negative, negative. Does this 3 that's on the outside, is it going to be affected? When it's on the outside, it just stays the same. It's not going to be manipulated by that value. Negative 16 plus 3. Once you have that filled in, turn the page. We are going to need our graphing calculators for the next section. Ah. Right. We are going to skip the graph. And we're just going to build a table. Who remembers where I put so that I can type the equation in? Y equals. Y equals. Good job. 
How do I get that to go away? I don't want an old clear. The x is right here. X. Then I square it with. I can square it with this little power of two. Plus three x minus four. Anybody need help typing that in? Second, I'm going to hit the second, that blue button, and then table. Do you see any repeating numbers in here? There's no repeating numbers. I'm going to scan. Here are my repeating values. For vertex form. The vertex is the center. The center is not given. The center is missing. So I'm going to say that between negative 1 and negative 2 is negative 1.5. And then between negative 6 and negative 6, it'll go down. Does anybody remember the decimal from yesterday? 0.25. The 0.25 won't change. These, these are on your assignment. On the test, I avoid the, putting them on the test. The test will be whole numbers. Your homework has these, though. So when I write vertex form, I drop in the negative, which will make it a plus, and this goes at the end. Vertex form. Factored form, I have the negative 4, 0. And I have the one zero. The negative four becomes a plus four. The one is a minus one. going to skip the graph and we are going to build a table. Y equals too fast? I'll pause. Anybody need more time to write in this top section? I'm going to clear and type in the x squared minus 4. Second, build a table. When I scan, the center where it repeats 
is between the negative threes. It repeats, so I know the center. Stop it. So I'm going to copy. Negative two is at zero. Negative one's at negative three. Zero's at negative four. One is at negative three and two is at zero. Vertex is the center. And I plug it in. So zero goes by the x, negative four is at the end. What are the intercepts for factor that I'm going to pull from the table? Negative 1 is not at 0. Negative 2 is. Negative 2 is right. Negative 2 is good. And 2 is 0. Which means I'll have an x plus 2, and I'll have an x minus, bless you, 2. Hopefully it's getting a little bit better. Skip the graph. I'm going to make a table. Do you want me to pause? Y equals, clear it. I have a parenthesis x minus 9 and an x minus 8. Table. Oh. The numbers are really, really big. If I keep going up, they get even bigger. So I'm going to arrow down until I see repetition of values. 6, 2, 0, 0, 2. There's the repetition. I'm going to pull the vertex out. What is between 8 and 9? 8.5, and then the zeros I just put on 0.25. The 0.25 is whatever this number is, 0.25 put on. That means I have the 8.5 in here and a positive 0 0.25 on the outside. It now wants Now on standard form, it already has it factored. If I use factored form, what will it become when I multiply it out? If I use this, and I'm going to fix it so it's in standard, 
I'd have x squared, then what? I have a minus 9 and a minus 8. What was it? That will be at the end. When I multiply them, that makes the end piece. Minus 17. Where did the 17 come from? Negative 9 and minus 8 add up to minus 17. When I multiply them, they make a plus 72 at the end. Yeah? About 2 negative When, so, let's see. In our head, we would ask what is negative 9 minus 8. Negative 9 minus 8 makes it more negative. That's why it stays a negative 17. For this one, we ask what is negative 9 multiplied by negative 8. This one does make a plus. If you want to work, go ahead and start working on your assignment. I am going to fill in the ACT questions. So if you are working ahead, you can check your answers. But you have the rest of class to work and ask questions. Yeah. Oh, the word for the model is very nice. 
Okay. Um, One second.